Yeah, hi there, and these comments are for BT. I'm just using your initials for privacy purposes, and uh, uh, you just made a comment over at my website, I think probably yesterday afternoon or evening, and I want to take some time to answer your question right now. So you say, Hi, Michael, I will be taking my fourth time TOEFL this quarter, or this su Sunday, and I'm really frustrating on getting my score up to 101. Now be careful, I would probably use their frustrated ED. You need a passive, uh, you have passive meaning there, so you want to use a past participle. You are frustrated by your inability to reach your goal, right? That's what you want to say. Also in the first part of your sentence you say, I will be taking, I would say, I will be taking the TOEFL test this Sunday for the fourth time. That's probably the best way to express that idea. Now you say, I received 95 out of 120. You say four, I would say on my third try. Do you have any advice on how to boost my grades up within this short time? Um, I wish I really could know your program uh, more ahead so I could be more well prepared. Uh, yeah, I, I think I have something. There, there, to be honest with you, though, there's not a lot you can do in terms of improving your academic English language proficiency in, say, two or three days. However, uh, one of my students, uh, her name is Tadu, and she scored 109 out of 120 on the TOEFL, uh, I think a couple years back, and she actually wrote uh, a pretty good email explaining to other students or some of my other students how she got the score she did. So what I'm going to do here is I will include her advice uh, right along with the video here. I will put her advice below the video so you can read that. Now of course uh, she talks about preparing for the test. There's not a lot you can do at this point but she also talks about what to do while taking the TOEFL exam and that's probably what you're more interested in at this point. That's what I'd recommend. So if you don't reach your goal, uh, I'd love to have you as one of my students. Let's keep our fingers crossed. You Hopefully you will reach your goal and congratulations already. You have a score of 95. You already have demonstrated very, very strong academic English language proficiency. All right, anyway, thank you very much, and uh, hey, let me know how you do. All right, maybe next week you can come back and make a post, or two weeks later, just remember, say, hey, Michael, I was the one that told you I was taking the test in a few days. Here's how I did, and I'd love to hear your results. Uh, all right? Okay, bye-bye.